Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Alex. I'm over here with South Bay Board Company, and I'm here to tell you all about our 11 foot 6 inflatable stand up paddle board. So, as I open up this kit, this is going to be the box that your 11 foot 6 paddle board will come in. Every single item that we advertise is going to be included with this kit is all going to be in this box. So the 11 foot 6 is our largest, most luxurious, uh, and most wide range of uses paddleboard that we offer. It comes with some cool little fishing rod mounts and some fishing rod holders, among all these extra epic accessories that typically other brands are gonna make you buy separately. We throw it into this one awesome, very, very cool kit. So to get it going, the 11 foot six Hippo Camp will include one ISUP kayak seat. Your ISUP is going to have four D-rings that are going to be installed basically in the center half of the board. That's going to allow these little clips right here, clip in and give you a cool little kayak seat to rest securely on. If you don't want to do a regular stand-up paddle, you can sit down and use the kayak paddle. Next, right up top, your paddleboard is going to include one 11-foot coiled leash to keep you safely and securely attached to your paddleboard. A pretty much never going to be used repair kit. This simply has the items that you need to repatch any little leaky repairs, but we personally have never really had to deal with this. It's extremely rare. You should probably, most likely, will never need this, but we keep it there for you just in case. Next, we have our dual action inflatable pump. This is dual action, meaning that it has a little clamp right here. When that's in or out, that's going to affect the airflow when you lift, push down. So dual action means we have a setting where when you lift, that puts air into the board, and when you push down, that puts air into the board. And then when you go to single action, when that board's pretty full and you need all that power to get it up and shove it down, you undo the clamp. That makes it a little bit easier to pump, hence dual action. This inflatable paddle board being 11 feet, six inches long, 33 inches wide, six inches thick, is a pretty large paddle board. It's going to take somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes to properly inflate this thing up to its recommended pressure of 15 PSI. Kind of going on with the items in this kit, this right here is going to be your ice up cooler. It's going to come with four clips that are going to fasten in these little rings right here, which are also going to fasten to the D-rings on your paddle board, keeping drinks, food, other items in there nice and cool while you're out there in the water enjoying your day. Next, one of my favorite items, the waterproof fanny pack. As you can see, this stylish piece right here is an awesome, awesome little accessory to have, whether you're using it just on the go or on the water. It's got a triple line ceiling that basically keeps your iPhone or phone or whatever device is in here completely dry at all times. It has a nice little window screen right here, so you can actually use your iPhone, so you don't have to open it up, get the risk of it getting wet. Everything you could possibly want to do is going to be able to be used right here on your phone, as you can see. I love these things. Next, your inflatable paddle board is going to actually include three fins. Two of those fins are going to be pre-installed on the bottom deck. They're more of these rubber TPU molded fins. Those are going to be right there pre-installed. This is your nine inch single FCS fin. This fin is going to work with our FCS fin box. Go more in depth on the fin box in a bit, but we use a very specific fin box, one that we believe is a truly durable and long lasting fin box, unlike a lot of these other cheap plastic snap and fin boxes that you see out there. We have our four piece paddle. So this will literally have four pieces, two blades and two shafts. Basically, in a regular stand up paddle board paddle setup, you're going to be using three parts of the four pieces. You're going to have a paddle blade, center shaft, and a handle shaft. And if you want to transfer over to the kayak version, you're going to basically have the paddle blade, center shaft, and then additional paddle blade. So basically you kind of have the option to either do a stand-up paddle setup or a sit-down kayak paddle setup. Next, we have some paddle clips. So technically you're going to have six of these paddle clips. Four of these paddle clips are going to go with your ice up cooler and actually attach right here in these little pieces. The other two out of the six are there to put on the side D-rings, which are going to be enabling you to basically put your paddle into those kayak clips when you don't want to use your paddle or maybe you want to kind of be hands-free for a moment. Last but not least, the very cool and unique aspect about this 11 foot six Hippocamp inflatable paddleboard is the fishing rod mounts. So we have three 
pre-installed fishing rod plate mounts. These plate mounts work with an array of different accessories that you can purchase separately to put on there, such as trays, cup holders, a whole bunch of different stuff. But we mainly focus on the fishing rod holders. So once again, there's two of those, but three mounts on the board. Now, last but last but not least, we'll get to the big guy, the 11 foot six Hippocamp inflatable paddleboard. So as you can see, this is quite the large backpack. This is our Deluxe XXL ISEP backpack. We're the only ones who have this backpack. It fits specifically with our 11 foot six ISEP, as well as holding pretty much most other ISEPs that are available on the market. Got a bunch of bungees on the front for extra storage. To get to the side, you have perforated rails. This is going to essentially allow the ISEP and the other contents in here to dry out when you're done using it, basically preventing that board from getting all mildewy, nasty, and smelling. Shoulder straps, this little chest clip going down to the nice thick backpacker waist straps, basically taking a lot of that extra weight off your upper back. And as you can see on the bottom, we have our wheels, my favorite part of this backpack by far. So when you don't basically need to carry this thing on your back, you can roll it around nice and easy as it is a larger item, a lot of larger extra accessories in there. You're gonna wanna basically save all of that energy for when you're paddling on the water and not carrying this thing around. As you can see, there's a little bit of extra space, a little bit of extra slack. That is typically because we are designing this backpack to include all of the items that you can see here with this kit. So everything on this table, including your ice up, which as you can see, fresh, clean, ready to go, bunch of extra room in there to store all of the extra items, making this ice up pretty much an on the go ice up. Everything here is going to be included with each of your inflatable stand-up paddle boards that you purchased with us here at South Bay Board Company, which we're about to go into in a little bit more depth after we get this thing inflated and show you what everything looks like when it's all properly set up. So now, as you can see, we have our 11 foot six Hippocamp inflatable paddle board properly inflated. So it's correct PSI, which is going to be 15 pounds per square inch. So this is what's going to look like when it's properly inflated. Just to show you kind of how strong and rigid these boards are, I'm going to basically do a nice little strength test, just to give you a visual. But first, let me explain kind of the structure of this board so you have a better understanding. On the inside of this board, we have what's called a dual axis drop stitch technology. Basically means from this top deck to the bottom deck, there's a bunch of different strings and fibers going at different angles. That when this board's properly inflated, they straighten out, become stiff and rigid. And that's basically what's gonna give a lot of this board a lot of its rigidity on the inside core structure. On the outside, you see this material of our gray carbon fiber right here. Both these are made of our PVC, military grade strength plastic. This is a true carbon fiber. This isn't some cosmetic or whatever. This is real carbon fiber woven. This is going to be on the rails all the way around and on the top deck. Nose and tail, both top and bottom deck. Those two combinations right there make this board very, very strong, very, very rigid, and surprisingly incredibly stiff and properly inflated. Keep in mind, I'm six feet two, 175 pounds. Depending on the weekend, it might be a little bit more, but here it is. You can see the board has very little give. It's going to be just as stiff, just as strong, and just as much fun to use as any other regular paddle board that's gonna be at this length. Plus, as you can see with all the extra features on here, there's a whole bunch of room for activities and different things to do. And that's why we include all these extra items in our kit, just to make sure you're covered right from the start. <laughs> Think strong, it's gonna last you a great long time out in the water. It's an awesome, all-in-one, one-stop shop inflatable paddleboard. So with that, we're gonna get the rest of this set up just so you can see how cool it looks with all the extras on it. The Hippo Camp was the half horse, half fish that pulled Poseidon's chariots underwater. So this is your chariot puller. We have a very cool gunmetal black fingerprint texture with the white, basically showing you that wood panel style decking that you typically see on high-end boats. So this fingerprint texture is a wax-free texture. You do not need to wax this paddleboard. This wax-free texture is going to enable this texture to keep you gripped to the board while paddling and also staying clean for as long as possible, keeping this thing fresh and keeping you stoked every time you see it and get ready to get on the water. As we start to work our way up, you'll see we have our pre-installed four-point bungees right here. These are going to be pre-installed. You won't have to do anything other than basically put your stuff under there when it comes out of the box. These are two fishing rod holders that are going to be included with your kit, but there are three fishing rod mounts here in the board. Two here in the back, one here right in the front. As you can also see, we work our way up, you'll see the paddles held here nicely with our little paddle clip holders. 
These are two paddle clip holders that are gonna go right here in the D-rings. Plus there's an additional four of them that are going to work with your ISOP cooler. These four D-rings that you will see basically in the center part of your board are pre-installed there essentially to help you attach your kayak seat and also your paddle clips for your paddle storage when not in use. As we work up towards the middle of this board, you'll see obviously our ISOP kayak seat is set up right here. It's going to be right in the middle of your board. You're going to literally be sitting on the handle of the board. That's going to put you in the dead center, giving you the cleanest point of paddle while you're sitting down in a paddle position. As we work our way up, get to our rubber die cut logo. It's simply a rubber logo that will not wipe away, wear away, or get onto any of your gear while in the water, keeping it fresh and clean looking for as long as possible. Now we get to the top. We have our six point pre-installed bungee system. And on top of that is going to rest our ice up cooler. You can choose whether or not to bring the ice up cooler with you. The bungees are going to come pre-installed. The ice up cooler you will just have to simply clip in. You're going to use these Velcro clips. Simple enough. So let's look at the bottom deck really quick. So here you can see the bottom deck of our board. It features a pretty cool two-tone combination of this little gray denim and the carbon fiber that's gonna be on the rails and obviously the bottom and top stringers. As you work our way to the back of this board, you're gonna see our two plus one fin setup. The two pre-installed rubber fins are gonna be there right out the box. The fin box is also going to be there for the single fin, but you will have to install that separately. The reason we go with a proper FCS fin box is because it's a durable fin box. Most ISOPs you'll see on the market have a simple black plastic fin box that you just clamp the fin in right there. Those are the first things to break on all your paddle boards. And when those break, you can't just simply swap it out. You have to either wait for a full replacement or send the other one back. So for an extra quick 10, 15 seconds to install that thing compared to the snap one where you screw ours in, you're gonna have a fin box that's going to last a long, long time. You're not gonna have to worry about damaging it or busting it up. So one of the other cool accessory items with the 11 foot six inflatable paddle board is our four piece paddle. Right now, this is set up in the paddle blade setup or paddle setup. So to switch it from a stand up paddle position to a regular sit down kayak position, you're gonna pop that off. Grab the other paddle blade, got a little button, thread that through, find the hole, pop it in, snap it down, boom, you're good to go. So all in all, the 11 foot six Hippo Camp is a very, very awesome and amazing paddleboard. At this size, this length, and this width, combined with all these extra accessories that are included with your package kit, it is truly hands down the ultimate ISEP package. Incredibly strong, incredibly durable. It can take a bunch of hits, can collapse, deflate really quick, and inflate really quick. It's the perfect strike mission board. It is super fun and easy to use, and you can have multiple people on it at once with a supporting capacity of 400 pounds. If you do have any other questions about this 11 foot six Hippo Camp inflatable paddleboard, please do not hesitate to reach out. We hope to see you on the water. Have a good one. Cheers.